If you want to combine your passion for deer hunting with your enthusiasm for NCAA basketball, join the MSU Deer Lab and the University of Florida Deer Lab as we start down the road to march to the final forage. I'm joined today by Marcus Lashley. <laughs> Marcus, tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Uh, so this is, has been a long time coming. And, and as someone who loves deer and uh, loves to think about what deer eat and uh, thinks about all these forages all the time, we decided all together that it would be really fun to not only study diet selection, but do it in a format that's very similar to the basketball tournament. So that's what you're looking at here is a, a bracket. So we basically went out and, and thought about, okay, what forages are available to us that are in some major forage classes that we would like to see how they compare to one another for, for deer diet. And uh, basically we went out and collected forbs, vines, browse, and we wanted to add food plots and of course, uh, mineral stumps. That was, uh, you know, when we were conceptualizing this, it was right about the time we were thinking about mineral stumps. So we decided to put food plots and mineral stumps together because we thought those would be fan favorites to think about. But also we have uh, these other important forage classes. We have the bread and butter for browse, uh, the forbs, which are really the ice cream, you know, the, the cream of the crop that we're looking for. And then vines, which are really common biomass uh, that are out there. So uh, Bronson, I was going to introduce you as Scott Ben Phelps uh, Double, but uh, since you have your name there, I guess we don't have that opportunity. But uh, you want to tell us a little bit about how we collected the, the uh, data for these forages? Yeah, all, all of these, again, very common forages that you're going to find throughout most of the range of, of white-tailed deer, certainly in the southeast and, and a lot in the east. And we just have this, this bracket set up. And, you know, since I work on ESPN, I kind of know how to go through the March Madness bracket here. But every one of these categories, let's say, for example, for Forbes, we, we have eight of those Forbes there. And we are actually going to let the deer decide who the champion is. And so they're, they're, all of those forages are going to be out there in equal amounts. We're going to have three different deer. And they're going to go through those forages. And based on the amount they consume, we are going to pick a winner. And so, Marcus, like you said, we have these four different brackets. So we're going to get a champion for the forbs, a champion for vines, a champion for browse, champion for food plots and mineral stumps and then for the final forage all of those champions of each of those brackets they are going to compete so that we can pick up a, a national deer forage champion that's kind of how we have it set up yeah I, I think there are a couple of things really important and also you know they, these forages have different uh, different size leaves, for instance. So we also chopped up the, the forages and put exactly the same amount in each one, which I think is a pretty important consideration. Uh, you know, we're trying to minimize biases associated with, with uh, handling time and that sort of thing. And, and it's, it's good to note that uh, at least Marcus and I, we do not know who won. Yeah, that, that's one of the most exciting things for me is I'm, I study diet selection all the time, but I have no idea at this point which one of these forages won. Now, I have my picks, and we're going to go through that in the, the upcoming shows, why we picked which forage to win. But that's an important consideration, Bronson, is we do not know which one won. That's right. We, we chose forages that we considered important and generally preferred by deer. But until the deer told us what they wanted, we didn't know. So let's run the video and, and show how this competition actually took place. So we sent out graduate students because they're the, the ones that are most passionate and have the most time to worry about these things. They went out and collected the samples and they, you know, a lot of different forages have different leaves, shapes and, and sizes. And so we, they chopped them up and measured them out and put them into the MSU Deer Lab's controlled and semi-controlled environment where we had tame bucks and we allowed those tame bucks to eat at their will. We monitored them, videoed, measured the amount of time, measured the amount of 
forage and decided on a winner after each competition. So here's how we're planning for this event to go is that for every one of these brackets, we're going to have a, a special event. So for example, for our browse bracket, that will be one event. And we're going to, of course, make our predictions. Marcus is going to make his scholarly predictions uh, based on all the nutritional studies he's done in the past. Steve, with his 10 to 15 decades of research and experience, is going to make some predictions. And I'm just going to make some predictions on this is what I see when I'm walking through the woods. I see this forage browse a lot or not. Well, well, then we are also going to have a, uh, a special guest is going to come in and join us for every one of these events. And then we're going to run the tape, so to speak. We're going to let the deer tell us who won. And then I get the opportunity to gloat at the end and how I was right and you, you two were wrong. So we're, we're going to do that for we'll have four different events for our four brackets. And then we're going to have the champions come in for the final forage. And then that will be our last event where we where we pick a champion. And everybody that's watching has an opportunity to kind of fill out your own bracket, right? There's not going to be some big prize, but you could start your own little pool among your friends, kind of like the you know office pools for the bracket. Uh, predictions in the NCAA basketball tournament. Figure out a way to score and, and you know, make a little friendly wager and, and see who can predict it. Because I'm betting we'll see some surprises. Yeah, I, I would bet that that same thing. And uh, not, not knowing what Forge you won, Bronson, that was a, a mighty tall statement you made. It was. It, I expect to be wrong. Everyone that knows me expects me to be wrong. So, yeah, I'm not worried That's, about that. Yeah, I, I do expect you to be wrong. You're right about that. <laughs> Thank this you for is, your honesty, Marcus. This is going to be a lot of great fun. Uh, we're we're going to learn something as we go. Let the deer teach us, as they often do, teach us how much uh, we thought we knew, but we really didn't when it comes to hunting and, and practice of hunting. Let's, let's see what they tell us, and we're going to share it with everybody, and we hope you'll join us soon as we begin the march to the final forage.